All right, everybody, welcome back to Sakura today. Hopefully, finishing up the game. We've got one boss to go, basically, but it's probably one of the biggest pain in the asses in the entire game. I was hoping I would do it last time, but that obviously didn't happen. So we'll start up with this today. This could be a shorter video depending on how this goes. I think uh, depending on what happens, I might try to edit some. Like if I have a hard time on this boss going forward, I'm probably just gonna edit down some of the encounters so that way, you know, if this does end up taking a while. Uh, hopefully it is contained to like just one video so this could be a shorter video than usual but it is the end of the game we'll see how it goes and i guess we'll just get back to it we'll continue to throw bodies at ishan it's been a little bit since i played so this is probably going to be a disaster but like i said you probably won't see all of it because we will try to through the power of basic editing we will try to edit it down a little bit i don't know why i'm saying we because it's pretty much just me either really is no we when it comes to that my nice supermarket sweep so you could see things get edited 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 you can see things get edited and uh, kind of jumbled around a little bit here as I'm already having an issue with uh, what he calls Genichiro which is <laughs> just great this is exactly the this is exactly the boss you want to have an issue with as you try to get to Ishin here oh. As you try to get to dear old Ishin, who's very strong, you totally want to have issues with Kenichiro. Oh shit, I hate this move. Yeah, dude. You need to go to like the right, and then I'm just like going to the left. We'll do that. We gotta we gotta learn how to fight against Kenichiro again. There we go. <laughs> we learned to I had to use two gourds, but. I don't think I'm doing, I don't think I'm beating Ishin uh, anyway on this try, but you know. We could see. That was almost bad. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, isn't that something that usually comes out like a little bit later? Like a later phase kind of thing? I think I remember that a little bit, but... Okay, I actually wanted to dash forward, but I was still holding right, so that kind of sucked. But it's okay. Probably the easiest first phase I've ever seen of this boss fight. Didn't I have like some defensive stuff? I don't know if that was it, but... We'll try to be a little more defensive. Oh, yeah, he has a gun too? He has like a fucking auto pistol? Where are you going? You're going to beat my ass is where you're going. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's exactly where you're going. Maybe I should use my mobility a little bit more in this area. Like it's kind of a big area. It is, dude, he just keeps swinging. It is kind of a big area, right? So. Okay, I jumped, okay. I don't know how I didn't jump over that, but that did not go very well. I was like, oh, even if he stabs me, I'll just jump over it. And he's like, uh, absolutely not. I'm just hitting you with it. Problem is, I need to, like, chip away at his vitality a little bit. I wonder if you can knock him off the cliff. That'd be kind of lame, right? Maybe it's like, maybe you can get him kind of trapped against the cliff. Dude, that is a wind-up for sure. You know, like, maybe you can get him trapped against the cliff. I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried. He seemed kind of weird when I was trying to, like, get him to go over there. Oh, no. Uh, unfortunately, getting shot broke my guard, and then I died. So, <laughs> that was... I guess I should have just, like, eaten the damage. The second phase is not going very well, is it? No, it is not. Oh, no, that again. Can I get some posture damage on you, please? Oh, that was terrible. Like, I need I need you to be hurt. This isn't getting hurt. Also, I never got to try the clip thing that I wanted to try, but... So now I've kind of got his back up against the, the clip here, so I don't know. Maybe he'll be, like, kind of weird. No, he just, like, gets out of it and doesn't care. try to bait some attacks out and just run around for a little bit yeah there's that thing he's got pretty good range too he has a gun and everything like he has a giant spear 
I'm missing all of my attacks because I have bad range. Oh, that was a sweep. Okay, that was a nice sweep. Well, we'll run away. <laughs> I thought for sure he was doing, uh, you know, a little stabby stab, but he said, nope, I don't think so. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> Hesitation is defeat. You know, I wasn't trying to hesitate, but you're right. You should, I should try not to. You know, next time I'm not going to hesitate. I didn't hesitate during the first phase, but then the second phase, I feel like I hesitated. And then he just killed me, so. We'll just continue to run and throw bodies. I guess I could go get, like, a skill bar and level up my mask, I think. But I've already talked about that before. What's this, repeating topics? I never do that. I never repeat topics here. Not in this house. I never repeat anything. I've had all unique jokes for like 14 years now. Every one of them has been unique. I'm gonna get like staggered. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. I'm using a pellet. Fuck it. All of my jokes have been original, never stolen from any comedians. I made them all up myself, right? Like, no writer's association, nothing. It's just... It's just me and my jokes. There we go. Alright, well, we got Kanichiro down a little bit easier than last time. I'm sure Phase 1 Ishin will be a nightmare now for some... Oh, yeah, here, here's the nightmare. The nightmare's starting, everybody. The nightmare has definitely... Oh, no, I tried to block. Oh, he's got two of them? I swear we saw that that mechanic, like, that attack from him, like, later on in a different phase, but... Oh, come on, I tried to block. Where was my block? So now I'm hesitating in the first... In the first, uh... The first, what do you call it? First phase. Couldn't think of the word phase for some reason. At this point, I need to, like, try to work on some of my, like, what do you call it? Oh, that was a sweep? God damn it. He's pretty good at mixing up his sweeps and his, like, lunges and shit. But eventually, like, I'm gonna have to start working in some, uh, some prosthetic tools that I don't want to... Oh, another sweep? Why are you... Why do you change things up on me? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he did that for so long. It's all right. We should hopefully be able to kill him. Well, not kill him, but, you know. There we go. There's there's the, the Kiri counter. There we go. We got we got our little bubble back. We got a little health. We're doing, we're doing better. I got knocked down. We're not doing great. We're in a good place to, like... Oh, shit. That's not a good... That's not a good place to fight him at all. Can I fight him off the cliff? Oh, shit, where is he? I have no clue where he's at. I'm just running. I'm running, and I'm gonna heal. All right, where is he? Okay. Oh, come on. Can I get Can I get some hits in here? Oh, hey, I actually got around him. I need to figure out a good way to, like... To, uh, to try to, like damage his uh his health bar a little bit like not just his posture but oh that was like a that was like a stab i need i need to be able to like chip away at his health like at least a little bit you know like i feel like that's the key but okay that was a bad time to like do all of that shit that i did all right let me do that Let's run away again. Let's... Okay, we'll take damage. Running away is not helpful. Let's try to bait an attack out so I can eat this. I don't think it was worth it, but... He's just really good. He, like, he attacks. He kind of disengages. He counterattacks. Like, he's just all around just really good. I don't know. Just all around very good at this game. Unlike me, apparently. I was doing pretty okay until we got to this boss. 
I was doing, like, okay until we got to Ishin here. I mean, I guess I did struggle on one of the owl boss fights for a little bit. You know? It wasn't all just, like, smooth sailing, right? It wasn't just 100% smooth sailing, that's for sure. Man, he's still just going. Like, he has so many hits, he just keeps hitting. He just keeps swinging, man. I can't do anything about it, apparently. Phase 2 is, like, by far the worst, I feel like. Like, if I can just get the hell out of Phase 2, I have a much better chance of, like, finishing this up. But Phase 2 is, like, just not a good time. Oh, I hate this move, dude. That still hit me? Wow. I think I just need to run away from that, honestly. Like, I don't really know how to... How to deal with that besides, like, run away. That's, like, the only... The only idea I've come up with. Most of my ideas are just, like, run away at some point. Like... It's like, I don't feel like dealing with this, so I'm just gonna run away. You're really close. Can you just, like... There we go. The problem is, is that I'm on phase three, which is great, but I have one healing item, so. One healing item, probably not gonna cut it, honestly. I'm trying to get him to like do, oh shit. I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, that's not good. So he's got a couple of those. I used my one healing item. Okay, this is going great. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay, we threw that back at him. Nice. Not bad. Maybe I just need to play, like, super passively. I don't know. Like, maybe super passively would work. Do I have any of these, like, Buddhas that I can use in my inventory? I know I've kind of come back to these a little bit. Hey, there we go. I actually got that. Not bad. I just want him to do his, like, okay, so his, like, bar goes down, too. I need to do more damage to him, I think. Okay, there's that again. We'll damage him a little bit while he's on the ground. He gets up. He's not happy. He's very not happy. I don't think I have, like, any healing to deal with this. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, I get a revive. I do get that. That is something, right? It is something. Trying to get his, like, electricity to come out again. I'm so afraid of him, honestly. I'm very... Oh, shit. Oh, that was a nice supermarket sweep. Okay. Just gonna jump these a little bit. Okay, looking good. Okay, that was, uh, I need to, like, let my bar go down a little bit here. Can I get my bar to go down? Oh, I guess you can't do it while sprinting. Interesting. You learn, you learn new stuff occasionally. Not bad. You got a nice hit there. Got out of that. Cool. He won't do the, he won't do the electricity again. He won't, like, hit me with the lightning. He won't do it for some reason. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I actually did it. Oh, my God. I think... Don't fuck this up. Oh, my God. I had, like, no health. He was doing some shit. He was trying to chop me down. That was fucking wild. I was very worried. Please just die. Thank you. you got, I got, oh, wait. We had another one there. Oh my god. He says well done, but it took me like, I don't know, probably an hour to kill him or something. He's like, well done, it only took you an hour, Sekiro. And you also almost died at the very end again. 
Anyway, at his peak, Isha Nashina devoted himself to deadly conflict in pursuit of strength, a single-minded killing machine of a man. I agree, he, uh, he was kinda tough. Combat art that performs a high-speed cut from a sheathed stance. I think that's what he tried to do to me at the end, maybe? No, th I think that's what he was just doing kind of the whole time. I think we've had the ability that he tried to use on me at the end. I think we've had that for a while. In his younger years, Ishin was a devil with a sword, spending his days in pursuit of life-or-death combat. He often ruminated on how a cut should be made, but his blade always moved first. Yeah, he's kind of a hard boss. I don't know. I don't know if he's the hardest boss in the game, but uh, he's definitely up there, I would say, with uh, that one owl boss fight and the Demon of Hatred. I also have no idea what the Gauntlet of Strength is. You have defeated many extraordinary foes who can now be faced in memory as a series of consecutive battles. I'm never beating that. Gauntlet of Strength can be accessed via the Sculptor's Idol menu. Confronting memories of the past is akin to the discovery of new possibilities. The very ends of conflict may afford a new state of mind. I have no... I don't think this was in the game when I originally played. I feel like that's new, but maybe it wasn't. I feel like that's kind of new, though. So we've gotten some Gauntlet of Strength stuff. I don't know if that kind of ties into what I was trying to do earlier with, like, Lady Butterfly way back in the beginning of the game. But I, maybe there's something, like, a little, little different. If it's seriously, like, a boss rush at the end, that's what it seems like. Just, like, all the bosses. I'm never beating that. There's, there's no way. I'll beat, like, a couple bosses maybe and then probably just die. Anyway, we have to find uh, fucking Kuro. He's right there. I don't know if uh, we have to do anything else for extra endings, but I guess we'll just talk to Kuro. See what's going on. He's not doing too well. <laughs> He's really not doing too good. He's just like passed out. Give dragons tears and ever blossom, or give dragon, give divine dragons tears. I don't know what I should give to him. You know, what? I'm actually gonna like look into this real quick and maybe you know edit this little chunk out if I can remember. Because I want to pick a better ending. If I set up a different ending, I want to pick it, so. Alright, so I'm pretty sure... I think the second option down here is the purification ending, which is, like, a, I guess a better slash different ending. It makes sense because, like, this is Give Tears, and then this is Give Tears and an Ever Blossom. So we'll just go with this one, see what happens. There's, like, four There's endings in this voice. game. はい。
私も人として懸命に生きそして死のうと思います我が忍びがそうしてくれたようにエマ殿にもお世話になりました。I got a nice purification trophy. You can't see that. I'll point it out up there. It's 100% invisible for you, so it, it literally doesn't matter what I do about that. But that's the ending. I think there are like four endings to the game, four or five. I think I've only seen this ending. I might have seen one other ending. Like, whatever the other ending was that we could choose from, I might have seen that ending as well. I think I've only beaten the game like once or twice. I think this is, well, I mean, I've beaten the game before this, so I think, I think I've only beaten the game like once or twice before this playthrough. I think this is like the second or third time I've beaten it. Like I said, I got to the end of the game on my first run through and was just like really unhappy with with how I got through the game. So I just like restarted it. And I don't remember what I did after I restarted it. When I restarted it, I might have looked up like what some of the endings were because I had essentially gotten to like the end of the game. Uh, I don't even think I tried to fight Ishin. I think I was just like, I knew I was at the final boss, and I was like, man, I like really didn't, <laughs> I really didn't play as well as I would have liked, so I just restarted, went through it. I felt like I did better the second time. Ended up beating Ishin. Uh, I had, had an easier an easier time on Ishin in my like first completion of the game, rather than this time. I actually had a bit of a harder time. I feel like Owl, that one Owl boss fight, probably kicked my ass back then, too. I remember spending like probably about an hour on it back then as well. Demon of Hatred ended up being a little bit easier than I thought. Uh, it took like two attempts, but I, those attempts were pretty long because I, I did play pretty passively. just kind of ran around the arena a lot, but thankfully, thankfully most of the bosses did not give me issues like I thought they would. I had issues on the final boss and the one owl boss fight, which is kind of whatever I expected to have issues on some of the boss fights. Some of the boss fights are just hard. Especially when you aren't really using your uh, prosthetic tools like properly, like I pretty much do for the entirety of the game. They, they, I bust them out occasionally, but like you can get way more use out of them. Overall, though, the game's very good. The game is like two or three years old by now. It's, it's a very good game, especially if you do like Dark Souls games. If you've never played it and you're looking for something to challenge you. And you just kind of like Dark Souls games or harder games in general. This is definitely a game you should pick up. If you like all that stuff, I don't know why you haven't picked the game up other than... I don't know. You're just waiting for the right time. The game does go on sale somewhat regularly. I remember I picked this up last year. Because I was anticipating playing and recording it eventually. I think I got it for like 20-something bucks, 30 bucks. It was like half off on Steam at one point. So you can definitely find this game on sale. If you're just a little patient and just wait. Uh, we do have, there's probably, like, some Steam sales coming up in the next couple of months. You probably, like, I mean, we have, like, the, the holiday sale coming up probably in December or whatever, but there might be, like, a Halloween sale or, like, a fall sale. They tend to have sales, like, every, every couple months, so you might see it on sale. But definitely pick it up. The game has pretty good replayability. There's a bunch of different endings. There's different skills to master. There's prosthetic tools. It's a, it's a fun time. It's just kind of hard. Start playthrough two? Sure. You will not be able to return to current playthrough one. That's fine. I don't think I want to do anything with playthrough. There might be some extra stuff to do. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter because I'm not... Like, once I'm done with this video, once I'm done actually beating the game, that's probably pretty much it for me and Sekiro for now. There are some other things that I could check out, like... Uh, We'll go ahead and skip that since we've already seen that. There are some other things I could check out, like the thing with the idol. I might not be able to check that out now because I started a new game, like New Game Plus, so I might have screwed myself out of that. I didn't really want to check it out anyway. I really don't have a, a whole ton of interest checking other stuff out. The only other thing we can do is kind of zip through the tutorial and do all that, but... We'll probably end it for here. I don't know. I'm assuming Playthrough 2, just like New Game Plus and some of the other Souls games, well, all of the other Souls games, the game probably becomes a little bit harder. 
just by default, and there are other ways to make the game harder in general. There's like one or... Yeah, you can ring the bell, and then there's something you can do with Kuro. I think over here you can give Kuro something, and it makes the game harder. I'm not sure if I did all of that properly. There might, there might be some setup to that, but... That's going to be it for Sekiro. The video is a little bit shorter. I have to remember to edit a little piece of it out, but not too much editing. We're not going to edit it down too much. I figured if I had a bunch of problems with that final boss and I was just dying over and over, I would try to like edit that down and make the video a little bit shorter just to try to have this be the last Sekiro video. But for now, it's over. This video will probably go up, you know, pretty much in its entirety. You didn't really miss much. It didn't really take me too long to beat him. We had our struggles, but we got through it. It was, it was a fun time. Uh, after this, we need to finish up Resident Evil, so for those of you who have been watching the hardcore playthrough of that, we'll do Resident Evil next. Hopefully in the next, like, two to four sit-downs, that game is also done. And then I don't know what I'll do after Resident Evil. There's new games coming out. It's September. It's, like, the end of the year. Usually uh, September, October, and November are when you start seeing a nice chunk of games come out, though I guess the past couple of years, the past year or two, has been kind of weird of all the stuff going on obviously all of the like release schedules and just like developers workflow just everyone's workflow has just been interrupted by everything going on so i don't really know what's coming out i i kind of need to plan and figure out what i want to play it doesn't have to necessarily be new games because there are some new games that are coming out that i just wasn't quite fully interested in i know death loop was coming out like really or it already came out I was kind of looking at that, but then I was like, eh, like, I don't know. I'm having a hard time, like, figuring out what I want to play. But we'll see. If you got any suggestions, try to let me know. Uh, I can't promise anything, but, you know, I do need to figure out what I want to do after Resident Evil. I do have some ideas, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. As for everything, thanks for watching Sekiro. I'm sorry it took so long to finish up. We have been chipping away at this for a while. Uh, for any of you who just kind of stumble upon this after the game is done, you don't really have to worry about that. But for those of you who've been keeping up in relative real time as it as, as it's uploaded, you know, I'm sorry, it took quite a while to finish. Same with Resident Evil, but we'll finish these two games up. Uh, well, one of them's already finished up. If you've been if you've been watching if you've been watching this video, Sekiro's done. We'll go to Resident Evil. We'll figure out what to play after that. But I'm done talking your ear off. Good game. If you don't have it, buy it. It goes on sale. And that pretty much sums it up. So thank you for watching. As usual, I'll see you guys somewhere else.